Right, coming in at number 10, we have the deep space radio bursts. Mystery fast radio bursts were discovered in 2007. These bursts flash for a micro instant, but emit more energy than the sun does in 10,000 years. The high energy surges of long waves have been detected 18 times over the past 10 years, and one burst in 2012 recorded in Puerto Rico occurred numerous times in the same pattern. Okay, this is what it sounded like. After fierce debates and a lot of head scratching, the source of the sound was traced to a micro galaxy 3 billion light years away from Earth. A lot of theorists have concluded that the sound is a space signal from another world or a parallel universe looking to get in touch. Coming in at number 9, we have the man from Torrid. Were we sent a man from another parallel universe or did he arrive via some kind of portal or vortex? Our story here stems back to 1954 when a man was detained at the Japanese border after arriving on a plane from Europe to Hanada Airport. The man said he was on his third business trip to Japan that year and he had a wallet filled with a mixture of currencies seeming to verify his business traveller status. When he presented his passport, officials were absolutely baffled asking where he was from. Now, The man who primarily spoke French said, Torrid. Where is this mystery place? He showed his passport again and the stamps that supported his travels. The only thing is, nobody had ever heard of Torrid. The company he was travelling to said that they'd never heard of him, and he was carrying a checkbook to a non existent bank. When he was asked to point out Torrid on the map, he pointed to where Andorra is today and seemed confused and offended to be told that it's not a real country. He was detained in a hotel overnight while Japanese authorities decided what to do with him, but by morning, he disappeared. Did he accidentally walk through a portal to another universe? Maybe. Coming in at number 8, we have the Bernstein Bears phenomena. Also called the Mandela effect, the Bernstein Bears phenomena claims to prove the existence of parallel universes with subtle differences. People vehemently claim that the Bernstein Bears were spelled with an E and not an A. And honestly, I for one absolutely thought that the Looney Tunes were the Looney Tunes until I watched a video on the phenomena last year, and now I'm straight up convinced that I'm living in the wrong universe as it is clearly Looney Tunes. They're cartoons. This new world doesn't make any sense. Some people out there are also adamant that Nelson Mandela died in prison in the late 1980s, which is more than just a slightly altered timeline. It's not just spellings here, this is a pretty major parallel universe event. Coming in at number 7, we have Deja Vu. Deja vu, a glitch in the matrix or a signal from a parallel universe. While both seem as likely as one another, it is thought by some that the weird moments where we feel like we've been or experienced something before are actually signals that something key is happening in our parallel lives. Not only do some people believe parallel universes exist side by side, some people think they interact with one another in some way. According to Dr. Michio Kaku, an American American futurist, deja vu occurs as a result of a person's ability to flip between universes. Others believe it is because we're vibrating in unison with the frequency of another universe that's parallel with our very own. Oh, I've gone cross eyed. Coming in at number 6, we have the Lost Beatles album. A parallel universe may have given our world a gift in the form of a Lost Beatles album, Everyday Chemistry. This story goes that in 2009, a man called James Richards found him self accidentally in a parallel universe, as you do. Luckily there was also a person from another parallel universe there, a man named Jonas. Now Jonas was on a trans dimensional tourism trip from the other earth, and he told Richards that in his world, amongst other things, John Lennon was still alive and the Beatles never broke up. Richards then stole a copy of a later album never released by the band and returned with it to our earth. What did he do with one of the most sought after pieces of music from a non history that almost but never happened here? He uploaded it to the internet. Eagle eared fans were absolutely having none of it though. They said the album is comprised of clever mashups from all of the Beatles solo careers. Richards later said that even though in an alternate universe the Beatles hadn't broke up, that didn't mean their future music ideas disappeared. I'm not so sure about this one, but I would love to hear what Paul McCartney has to say about it. Paul, tell us, is it real? I guess you're living in another universe so you don't know, but I don't know. 
I feel like you'd be able to answer. Coming in at number five, we have dreams. Could our dreams be signals from a parallel universe? Some say maybe. In a number of First Nations cultures in North and Central America, people believe that dreams allow us to walk planes in other dimensions. Their reasoning is that dreams take place in colour and can include all of their senses. They think that when you're in a dream, you are in another world, perhaps a world you already exist in if you're doing something strange in your dream, maybe it's a sign that actually you live a far stranger life somewhere else. Coming in at number 4, we have the bruise. Anyone else here bruise like a peach? Just me? Me? And the universe. In 2010, along with a team of researchers, Stephen Feeney of the University College in London announced that he had discovered patterns in the radiation background left over from the Big Bang. Now, this seemed to suggest that our universe bumped into not one, not two, but four other universes and was left bruised. Okay, what is the plural of universes? Universe I? Universe I? Universe I. Also, from the bruising, further researchers in California think that it is clear that this leads to some kind of like bubble universe theory, which maybe I can get on board with. Maybe Men in Black got it right when they imagined us all as marbles in a big bag. Coming into number three, we have the cold spot. In 2004, astronomers found something that baffled them an unusually cold area of space. The area is 1.8 billion light years across and much colder than its surroundings. The area also contained 10 thousand less galaxies than in other areas of a similar size studied in space. A researcher from Durham University in the UK believed that the spot could be evidence of a multiverse. They said it seemed as if a parallel universe smashed into ours, affecting it like a car pile up on the motorway would, only they're calling it a cosmic shunt. They believed the impact was so vast it pushed energy out from a big region of space, therefore creating the cold spot. It's hard to get your head around, but that is what they think. Coming in at number 2, we have City in the Sky. In October 2015, Chinese TV went wild when thousands of residents in two areas of the country reported seeing a huge floating city in the clouds. Puzzled onlookers saw skyscrapers in the clouds and believed that they were seeing a ghost city or the colliding of our reality with a parallel universe. The phenomenon occurred in both Guangdong and Jiangxi, with some believing it was the beginning of an alien invasion. The images were caught on camera for the world to see and promptly went viral across the rest of the globe. So what on earth or above earth is going on? Well, even though it looks like a city in the clouds to you and me, apparently it is an optical illusion called Fata Morgana, which is a natural mirage. So that is what a lot of scientists are saying anyway, but other people are convinced it's a sign of a parallel universe or even a window to another world. Finally, coming into number one, we have black holes. The theory of loop quantum gravity suggests that there is no point of singularity in a black hole, rather, there simply folds in the universe. Everything we know about quantum physics tells us that information is never lost, that energy can't be created or destroyed, so perhaps black holes don't suck and destroy. Maybe they suck and create. A lot of scientists are dabbling with the idea that black holes are indeed folds or portals to an older part of the universe. Professor Stephen Hawking gave a lecture in 2015 wherein he discussed how it may be possible to come out of the other side of a black hole. He said the hole would need to be large, and if it was rotating, it might have a passage to another universe. But you couldn't come back to our universe. Anyone want to take that one way trip? I don't know if I do. So, guys, are black holes portals to another universe? This seems like a good moment to mention our sister channel, Life's Biggest Questions, which answers all kinds of questions, especially like that. We love a bit of black hole chat, so head on over there where you'll hear me, you'll hear Charlotte, you'll hear Jack. Good times. Starting off this countdown, we have the scary last footage. Oh, 
This footage was filmed in 2006 and features two young guys driving along a dark road at night. At one point they decide to make a shortcut through the forest. And that's when things start to get strange. What's worse is that this is the last footage ever taken of them. It showcases their final moments as they were never seen again. After driving for a while they decided to get out of the car and walk around the woods. That's when they hear some weird sounds in the distance. <laughs> While we never get a clear shot of this animal, it sounds like a goat or a pig. The final moments of the video show the beast chasing them as they try to get back to their car. In our ninth spot today, we have the tape glitch. So according to Joaquin Baldwin on YouTube, in 1994 he brought his Sony VHS-C camcorder with him when he went to go visit his cousins. When he went to convert the VHS footage to digital, he was completely shocked at what he found. The footage showed stuff that he had not recorded. The video starts off with what sounds like someone screaming, and continues to show weird clips that he doesn't remember. <laughs> It left him, his family, and the viewers completely confused and unsettled. In our eighth spot today, we have the creature. This is footage of what appears to be a strange creature found in a Spanish forest in 2006. The two men in the video are seen entering a forest outside of the town of Camp de Vanel at night. As they get deeper and deeper into the woods, they come across some large feathers. Eventually they pan over to what looks like a man huddled over with an open wound on his back. <laughs> So some people say that this is a fallen angel, or maybe the feathers don't have anything to do with this creature and it's like an alien or something, I don't know, whatever it is, it is certainly very creepy. Coming in at number 7, we have the stalker footage. I found this one in the grocery store. She spent a considerable amount of time picking up the finest of items. I admire someone who only wants to pick up a bunch. A couple of years ago, there was a very creepy channel called Mr. Peeper. His videos were all about him filming other people with his creepy commentary going on in the back. But as of 2019, his account and all the videos were taken down. However, they are still circling around on the web. This clip features Mr. Peeper filming one of his victims. It is a miraculous thing to be able to watch the person you love. Undetected. I literally could not sit through this whole video. It is so eerie. Like he just finished saying that he followed this girl home and now he's already obsessed with her and in love. At one point he even manages to get inside of her home and he films it without her knowing. That's it, I am not sleeping tonight. The scariest part is that the original uploader claimed that the segments of video found on his channel were discovered on SD cards wrapped in plastic and attached to the roof of a car that he found abandoned in the woods. Moving on to number six, we have the witch. This video starts with a man driving along a dark road in the middle of the night in India. As he's driving along, he notices something in the distance and decides to stop and watch it. In the distance, you can see a figure in a long white dress with long dark hair carrying a walking stick. Soon the figure gets closer and closer. The man is clearly scared as this thing is coming straight to him. Soon, it's too late. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 
Many people believe that what he encountered was a real witch. Others say that the man's scream sent shivers down their spine. To this day, we don't know what happened to the man or what that figure is that he saw. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Don't Look Behind You. <laughs> In Southeast Asian mythology, a Tuyul is a spirit said to be an undead infant made from black magic. Now, they are mostly harmless, but humans can use them to do dark deeds for them. In this video, two people are playing guitar and singing, when all of a sudden, this creature appears behind them. The scariest part is that only the cameraman appears to see it. The two musicians have no clue what's going on. <laughs> What do you think? Could it really be a Tuyul? Moving on to number four, we have the found footage from Texas. Now, this video is nightmare fuel. Creepy music plays in the background as we see the cameraman filming what appears to be a shower curtain. And then, take a look at what happens. A pair of creepy long bony fingers slowly wrap around the shower curtain. That's not all though, it gets worse. The footage then cuts to a weird dark figure standing outside. The cameraman slowly gets closer to the figure and then it cuts away to another figure. This whole video is just comprised of random scary clips merged together. Some people have felt sick watching it. Others have gotten bad anxiety attacks and have passed out from getting so dizzy. Apparently, this footage was found in a box at an estate sale in Texas along with other pieces of junk. When the person played the tape, they were horrified. In our third spot, we have Don't Do Drugs. Now, I really didn't know what to title this video. It seems like everyone took a bunch of drugs and then decided to film a weird commercial. It is so bizarre, it has had to have come from a parallel universe. Take a look for yourself. <laughs> It goes on and on and it's quite disturbing. Now I did do some research on this video, unfortunately I was not able to figure out where it came from. So if you have any information about the video, please let me know. Anyways, this video gets so bizarre that it looks like it's trying to hypnotize you. Did I say hum? Repeat my mantra. Somebody please tell me what's going on. Was this a real commercial or a weird art project or is it from a parallel universe or all of the above? In our second spot today we have Kirby the Clown. Your dad keeps a gun in the house. Your dad's got a gun. Your dad's got a gun in the house. Guess who's got it now? If you have a fear of clowns, then I sincerely apologize. I can't even explain what we just saw, but it is undeniably freaky. Footage of this clown can be found on the YouTube channel Kirby the Clown, and all the videos with this clown are pretty much just disturbing, if not more, like this one. I've got a secret, secret, secret. I've got a secret, your mom's already dead. It always features the same clip of Kirby the Clown, but the voiceover changes every time. I'm telling you, this is the definition of a cursed video. And in our number one spot today, we have Lending You a Hand. This video starts off with the cameraman exploring a creepy old house and he is visibly scared. At one point, hands start appearing from the ceiling and they try to grab him. Then hands start appearing out of the walls and under the door to the room, all trying to get to him. The video ends with this demonic jump scare. Oh, 
Did it make you jump? It got me, because I was not expecting that. But how creepy is that? Imagine living in a parallel universe where arms can appear randomly and attack you. Starting off at our number 10 spot, we have The Close Call. This story comes from a guy who loves cars, but had a weird moment about 15 years ago that he just couldn't get off of his mind. When he was in his early 20s, he loved to speed in cars and just wanted to go fast. His friend had a car that he really wanted to drive, and one day it just turned out to be his lucky day and his friend finally gave in. He hopped in the driver's seat with his friend who owned the car in the passenger seat and another buddy in the back and off they went. They went to an empty freeway around 3 a.m. and put the pedal to the metal. Once they hit around 135 miles per hour, they began to see a bunch of semi-trucks. There were three basically driving side by side, taking up all three of the lanes and certainly not going as fast as our speed demon friend. He thought to himself that there was an on-ramp coming up and he would just use that as some extra room to pass, but unfortunately as he approached the on-ramp, another semi was entering the freeway and occupying that fourth lane. With all four semis lined up, he was approaching too fast with no time to break, so he closed his eyes and prepared for the worst. But then, nothing happened. He opened his eyes and the other guys in the car were just as confused as he was. Somehow they were now in front of all of the semis, but there was literally no room for them to have passed by them. This was the end of his speeding career as he was super spooked as to what possibly just happened. Was this a real world glitch or did he somehow enter a reality where he wasn't in an extremely dangerous and potentially fatal situation? In our number 9 spot today we have The Strange Storm. This story goes that a couple were at home just doing some household chores when something super strange happened to them. The husband went to open the front door to toss a dirty rug out of the house and it was just completely pitch black outside. The weird part is that it was at 2 p.m. and from inside the house it looked like a regular sunny afternoon with light coming in from the windows. They said that suddenly outside the front door where it was dark, it's like the sun was a light bulb and it just went on, then off again, and then on. They described it like the flickering a light bulb does right before it's burnt out. The wife asked her husband if he had seen that and he replied, yes, what just happened? They also said there weren't any clouds out either, so it couldn't have been a cloud blocking the sun. Were they transported to some alternate reality for a second? I honestly have no explanation for what the pair witnessed. In our number 8 spot today we have The Disappearing Town. This story comes from a person who often commutes to a town around 3 hours away from the one that they live in. One day they were doing the 3 hour drive with their mom and they got to the part that takes about a third of the entire drive and it's an area that just has a lot of like mountains and cliffs and nature. So the person telling the story is in the passenger seat and their mom is driving and as they look out the side of the window over one of the cliffs, they see a small community that they had never seen before. The community looked nice and it consisted of mostly bungalows, which is apparently not normal for the area. Both them and their mom were super confused as to how they had never seen this community before, but it gets even weirder. They never saw the community again. It just disappeared as quickly as it appeared. Did they accidentally drive into another dimension one day? In our number 7 spot today, we have slightly different. One morning in 2008, a woman named Lorena woke up in a life that was similar to the one she was living in when she went to sleep, but certainly not the same. At first, it was just things like her bed sheets and pajamas, but when she got to work, things began to escalate. Lorena realized that her office wasn't her office and that she worked in the same building but in a completely different apartment. She had never even met her boss before, so she knew this couldn't have just been a moment where she got lost or confused. When she returned home after the workday, she was met by her ex-boyfriend, only to find out that he was apparently her current boyfriend. She tried to find the person that she had been dating for months, but he didn't seem to exist in this new life and world that she now found herself in. Lorena began to seek psychiatric help because she was fearing she was having some sort of nervous breakdown, but all the tests revealed that that she seemed to be of sound body and mind. The strange occurrences continued when Lorena asked her family how her sister was doing. Lorena knew that her sister had recently had shoulder surgery and she wanted to check in, but when she asked her family, they were baffled by her claims and insisted that there was no surgery that had taken place on anyone in the family. Lorena couldn't find any answers to her situation and was having no luck with a medical explanation either. She is convinced that she went to sleep one night and woke up in a parallel universe that was 
altered slightly by small decisions that she had made. Honestly, after all of these stories, I think I kind of might leave her too. In our number six spot today, we have moving. So this story comes from Reddit and it starts off one day when a guy gets a call from his neighbors asking him if he can help them move a mattress upstairs. They had a good relationship with the neighbors, so of course he was willing to help. When he got there, they got the mattress all moved and the neighbors asked if he wouldn't mind helping with an armor as well. No problem, he thought as he began to help them move that one up the stairs as well. This is when things went awry, however. There were 11 stairs at the front, he was on the lower end carrying the armor, and about 6 steps up, his friend at the top lost a handle on it, and the whole thing came crashing down on him since he was of course at the bottom. He loses his balance and falls backwards towards the pavement, and this man actually remembers dying from this fall. The next thing he remembers though is waking up in his dining room with his phone ringing and his wife asking him if he's going to answer the phone. He is obviously super super freaked out because he literally just remembers dying two seconds ago but now he's here. When he answers the phone, it's his neighbor asking if he can help move a mattress up the stairs. He surprisingly goes over again to help and when he gets there he says he can help with the mattress but not with the armor. This neighbor is shocked because he doesn't know how he could have possibly known about the armor. Did the guy have some sort of premonition or did his death in one reality bring him into a different one? Who knows, but I hope he's taking advantage of this second lease on life. In our number 5 spot today we have the breath. This reddit post comes from the user cat22l and they wrote quote, About 30 seconds ago I was sitting on the couch as my dog walked by to go sit on her bed we have behind the L part of the sectional. She had something small caught in her throat last night, I think a popcorn shell, so I was paying attention to her breathing just to make sure she got it out. For a few minutes she was breathing fine and then what sounded like a light snore started happening. This is semi normal for her depending on what position she's laying in so I didn't bother to go over and check on her. That went on for about 5 minutes until the most disgusting and to my now realization terrifying snore slash cough slash wheezing sound started happening. I go over to her to make sure she's okay and the exact moment I looked at her bed the sound stopped mid breath and she wasn't there. She was outside with my parents and had been for around 30 minutes. There's no way to get out of the room without walking right past me. I don't know whose dog I saw and what was making that creepy ass sound 5 feet away from me, but I'm going to be staying outside for the rest of the day and hiring an exorcist. Maybe this is a weird parallel universe story or maybe this is just a full on demon. What do you guys think? In our number 4 spot today we have the road trip. One day in 2006 a woman named Carol was driving through San Bernardino, California on her way to Paris, California where she was going to stay for a few days. On her travels she saw a sign for Riverside which was nearby and she decided that since her family had roots there maybe it was time to stop in for a visit. As she went into Riverside she realized that everything looked different from how she remembered it and she was unable to find her old house that she grew up in. She tried to go to the street that her grandmother used to live on, but that one was different too. And when she tried to visit her grandparents' graves at the cemetery, the whole place didn't even exist. Even the people who were living in the town gave Carol a bad feeling, and she didn't even want to get out of her car. She decided she would be better off just continuing on her trip, and she left Riverside. Carol didn't return to Riverside until a few years later after her dad had passed away and she was attending the funeral. To Carol's surprise, when she went to Riverside this time, everything was as she remembered it from her childhood. Childhood. Carol believes that somehow that day she ended up in some sort of a parallel universe form of Riverside and she even said that she felt like if she left her car that day she was going to get stuck there. In our number 3 spot today we have the new location. So one day this person was driving to work on the same route that they took every single day. They worked the whole day through and got into their car to head back home on the same path. As they're driving they start feeling super super anxious and like on the verge of a panic attack. They keep driving and then they suddenly see this huge power plant all lit up. They're super confused because they drive this road every single day, how could they miss this glaringly obvious thing? Then their boyfriend calls and asks them to pick up McDonald's. McDonald's on the way home. No problem, they go through the drive through. When they get to the window, they see an employee they've never seen before even though they are at this same McDonald's almost every single day, and this new employee is the only one there and they say that they've been working there for around 2 months. 
They take the food and head home, and when they get there, they begin to tell the boyfriend about this strange power plant that they saw. Their boyfriend explains that it's always been there, so he doesn't know what they're talking about. Now every day they drive past this power plant with no idea how it got there or how they had missed it, but they've also noticed a few other small differences in their life. Their dog doesn't know the tricks it used to know, or how their boyfriend pronounces some words differently from before. Maybe they slipped into a new dimension on their drive home from work that day. In our number two spot today we have Honey. This story starts off with a woman who we'll call Anna, having her bi-weekly phone call with her mom just to catch up and see what's going on. Anna's mom unfortunately had to inform her that Anna's sister's dog named Honey had passed away. Anna was obviously super upset at this loss and called her sister to check in after hearing the news. Anna asked tons of questions about where they were planning to bury her, as well as asking how her sister's son was doing with the loss. Anna told her boyfriend how upset she was about the loss of the dog, as they had really had a bond. Flash forward a couple of months and Anna is heading home for Thanksgiving. Her sister was heading out of town to spend the holiday with her in-laws, so she left her pets at the parents' house so that they could be watched over. As Anna walks into her parents' home, she sees Honey, healthy as can be, sitting in the living room. Anna was of course overjoyed, but asked her mom why she had told her that Honey died. Anna's mom was very confused and said that that conversation never happened. After leaving her parents, Anna asked her boyfriend and he said he was super glad that she brought it up because he also remembered this conversation. Did they somehow enter a world where Honey was still alive? While this would be such an amazing surprise, it would also be unbelievably creepy. In our number one spot today, we have The Crosswalk. Okay, maybe a parallel universe story, maybe a glitch in the matrix story, either way, when I came across this one on Reddit, it actually gave me goosebumps because it was just so strange. So let me set the stage for you. The original poster of this story, for a few weeks prior to this incident, had been noticing this sort of mundane thing that he found that many people did. The thing was how pedestrians will wait at a crosswalk until the walk sign comes on, and when it does, he was finding that people will usually pull their cell phones out of their pocket and look at them as they walk across the street. Nothing too strange there, it was just a thing that he had noticed. So flash forward to this specific incident, this guy is driving with his daughter. He goes on to write, quote, We stopped at a red light at a crossing and there was a man standing there. Nothing out of the ordinary, denim jacket, black cap, glasses, around six foot two. I thought I'd try to weird out my young daughter, she's five, so I knew this was going to blow her damn mind. So I said, see that man? When the walking man goes green and he starts to walk across, he'll reach into his pocket and pull out his phone and start looking at it. Watch and see. As he walks across, he reaches into his pocket, but then immediately takes his hand out and looks and points right at me with his mouth open smiling like a gotcha stance. Of course, my daughter found this absolutely hilarious, and I sat there completely mind blown. I must have sat there in silence looking at him walk across for the next 10 seconds. I drove on and had a look at him as I drove past and he was smirking and laughing. Of course, of course, I'm thinking that he must have heard this guy somehow, but the poster goes on to say that the windows were up, the radio was on, his voice was at a completely normal volume, and this crosswalk guy would have been like 15 to 20 feet away. He finishes the post by saying, quote, I can't figure out at all how he could have heard me. It's literally impossible. How did he know I was trying to predict he'd reach into his pocket for his phone? The only even remote possibility I can think of is that he has had the same observation as me and thought I might be thinking the same thing, so he just went for it. But realistically, what are even the chances of this? This story truly is just an incredibly weird one. Starting off this countdown, we have SpongeBob. Who here is a fan of the sponge that lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. So if you answered yes, then have you seen the 2004 SpongeBob movie? The one where the two goofy goobers, SpongeBob and Patrick, set out to return King Neptune's crown to save Mr. Krabs, and then Plankton tries to take over and yeah. Well, if you've seen this, then in one of the final scenes, there's this whole musical number where SpongeBob rocks out to Goofy Goober. At one point, he bursts into a wizard outfit in white boots while rocking on a guitar. Well, Take a look at this image. Do you remember SpongeBob playing on a white electric guitar or a weird peanut one? Let me know. I remember him holding a white electric guitar, but apparently that's not right. And he always had a peanut guitar. No, just no, that's not right. We fully switched universes cause SpongeBob never had that guitar, I swear. Moving on to number nine, we have Cheez-Its. But apparently, 
that tasty cheese cracker is not called cheese it it's cheese it either i've been saying it wrong my entire life or this is proof that we live in a parallel universe like do you remember it being cheese it or cheese it's because honestly cheese it doesn't make sense to me it needs to be plural because there's more than just one cracker in the box now i'm just getting mad here but someone's out there playing with us i swear moving on at number eight we have these circle clouds ever wondered what life is like in another universe well they might just have circular clouds yeah you heard me look at this real image of a circular cloud honestly if i saw that i would panic thinking that the end is near like it's cool but also, it's not right. Like that's a glitch in the matrix or something. Mother nature is glitching. Or maybe that's what normal clouds look like in a parallel universe. Who knows at this point. In our seventh spot, we have the twins. Except the guys in this photo aren't twins. They're not even related. Yet they somehow dressed up in identical outfits and appeared at the same place, both reading newspapers. How creepy is that? Like they even have the same haircut and hairline. Like, what is going on? I mean, the sweater is identical. Same brand and logo and color. What are the odds? The only difference is that the man on the left is wearing black socks and the man on the right is wearing white socks. One of them is from a parallel universe for sure. It's the same dude, just our universe is glitching or merging with other universes or something like that. Coming in at number six, we have the green KFC. So we all know that the KFC colors are red and white. Right? Well, not at this KFC location. Since when does KFC have a green building? Hell no, that makes me uncomfortable. Even Colonel Sanders is wearing a green apron thing instead of a red one. That's not normal. That KFC is in another universe, I swear. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the photo glitch. Okay, someone needs to explain this photo to me. It's not edited at all. The girl just somehow appeared to be gray in the photo like it looks fake am i right how is that possible unless her goal was to be a gray santa this one just hurts my brain like if anyone can genuinely explain this photo then let me know in the comments below like how did she appear colorless when everyone else in the photo is in color I feel like I'm tripping out. Moving on at number four, we have C-3PO. Who here is a fan of Star Wars? Hit that thumbs up button if you are. Well, a lot of diehard fans were shook when they found out that C-3PO does not have an entirely gold body. That's right, apparently he's always had one silver leg. Okay, okay, then explain this to me. How come when I was little, I had a C-3PO figurine that had two gold legs, okay? If someone explain that to me. What do you remember though? Apparently, a ton of fans just remember C-3PO being entirely gold. So, is our memory failing us or are we universe jumping? Eh. In our third spot, we have the Berenstein Bears. Okay, disclaimer, buckle your seatbelts because I'm about to get heated and passionate for this one. So, do you remember the classic kids book being the Berenstein Bears or the Berenstain Bears? because I remember it being the Berenstein Bears, spelled S-T-E-I-N. But no, I've been living a life of lies and deceit because apparently it's always been the Berenstain Bears. Stain, S-T-A-I-N. What? But I'm not the only one. Thousands of others remember it being the Berenstain Bears. So theory goes that there are parallel universes out there. In this case, we have the Steen universe and the Stain universe. We lived in the Steen universe during the 90s when the books were out, but then later on, we somehow shifted into the Stain universe. Somehow, the universe ended up overlapping with ours, which is why we remember the Steen books, because they were real, but just in another universe. It's just driving me insane. Like, it was the Baron Steen Bears. Okay, why would it be Stain? I mean, it doesn't make any sense, okay? Like if you agree, like if you agree. And at number two, we have the Looney Tunes. Here's another one that will drive you mad. Or should I say, <laughs> drive you loony. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop with the dad jokes. But do you remember the classic cartoon being Looney Tunes, T-O-O-N-S, or Looney Tunes, T-U-N-E-S? I remember it being tunes spelled with two O's. And that makes sense because it's a car tune. But now, 
Apparently it's tunes, like a music tune, which makes no sense again. Hello, it's a cartoon, not a music tune. I just want to go back to the tunes universe, like the T-O-O-N-S universe, because everything just makes more sense there, okay? They probably don't have COVID there, just saying. And in our number one spot today, we have the Mona Lisa. Okay, this one really tripped me out. But do you remember the Mona Lisa having a little smirk on her face or a serious face? I remember her always having a slight smirk, not a huge smile, but just a little something something, you know? But in high school, I was taught that she was serious and she didn't smile in the portrait. But get this. In a movie from 1931, it shows the Mona Lisa smiling. This movie is called The Theft of the Mona Lisa. Here's a clip from it. Now, of course, they didn't use the real Mona Lisa for the film. But wouldn't you think that they would get an exact replica for the film? Meaning that she had a smile. Because why all of a sudden would they use a Mona Lisa where she's smiling? Unless back in the day she was smiling in the portrait and then somehow we're now in a universe where in the painting she didn't smile. Okay? But that's not all. In a 1962 Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes, sorry, episode titled Louvre Come Back to Me, we can also again see the Mona Lisa smiling. I can tell you chaps one thing. It's not always easy to hold this smile. In the clip, she literally says, I can tell you one thing. It's not always easy to hold a smile. Bam! It's just proof that at one point, the Mona Lisa did have a smile. You see how worked up I get over this? Something's, something's going on here. We're in a parallel universe. It's tripping me out. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this, okay? It's crazy, like if you agree. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is the mecca when it comes to mysterious disappearances and rumors and urban legends, so of course it had to make it onto this list. The Triangle, which sits in between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda, earned its deadly reputation starting back in the 1970s. Since then, there has been about 80 aircrafts and 60 boats that have gone missing in the Triangle, which only fueled rumors that there was some sort of force or supernatural cause that was making this area one where people would often go missing. There have been intense electrical forces and tunnel-like clouds reported in the triangle, which some believe is the cause for the disappearances, some others believe it's weather patterns, some believe it's the entrance to a parallel universe or a place where aliens like to abduct their victims, and some people like to dismiss the idea that there's any sort of mystery at all. At this point, exactly what is going on with the Bermuda Triangle remains a mystery. In our number Nine spot today we have the Oregon Vortex. Just off of Interstate 5 in Southern Oregon lies what is called the Oregon Vortex. According to local legend, it is said that this area and the strange and mysterious stories surrounding it aren't just modern legends, but that perhaps it stems back further. People have said that the stories of the Oregon Vortex actually stem back to when indigenous Americans referred to it as the Forbidden Land. It is said that during these times, people traveling on horses would often find that their horses would be refusing to go into the area, so clearly some Something strange was going on in there that was spooking the animals. Scientists have speculated that the land might contain some kind of crossed magnetic lines that produce some sort of force field, but whatever it really is, the place is truly strange. Things appear very differently here. It's sort of like an optical illusion. The area is basically a parallel universe in itself. In our number eight spot today, we have the Challenger Deep. The Challenger Deep is the deepest known point in our ocean, around 10,900 meters deep. It is located in the Pacific Ocean in the southern part of the Mariana Trench, and because of its location, lack of light, and immense pressure, it hasn't been explored very much. The extreme environment has certainly set up for there to be a whole host of species that we know absolutely nothing about, but it is not an area that can be easily explored by humans. The Challenger Deep has only been visited four times, and only for short periods of time, so there is so much more that is waiting to be uncovered at this deep, dark part of our ocean, and I don't know 
about you, but I feel like there are insane amounts of ocean creatures that could fully be aliens. They are so strange and interesting and unique, so who in the world knows what really lurks down there? In our number 7 spot today, we have Point Nemo. I'm sure there's a few of us out there who dream of time alone, away from other people, and Point Nemo is exactly that. It's like a parallel universe where if you were to visit, you'd feel like you were the only person on Earth. This is the most remote location on Earth. It's officially known as the Oceanic Hole of Inaccessibility because it is the furthest point away from land. This area is surrounded by more than a thousand miles of ocean in every direction. There are obviously no humans who live even close to Point Nemo, which is why it is called that in the first place, Nemo being Latin for no one. This location is so isolated that the closest people to Nemo aren't even on this Earth. Since the inhabited areas closest to the point is over a thousand miles away, the humans aboard the ISS are way closer than anyone on land. Truly just wild. Kind of sounds like a dream, kind of sounds like a nightmare. In our number 6 spot today we have Kawa Ijen. Located in Indonesia, this is one of the most remarkable and interesting places on Earth. Firstly, this active volcano emits hot, flammable, sulfurous gases. These gases ignite as they enter the oxygen rich atmosphere of Earth and this causes them to burn with a stunning blue flame. Further scientific processes also allows for there to be a flow of molten sulfur that also has that same striking blue flame. At night is really when you get quite a show from this coloring as it quite literally looks like a flow of blue lava. The other incredible thing about this location is that there is a one kilometer wide caldera that is filled with turquoise blue water. The watercolor, while it looks gorgeous, is a result of extreme acidity as well as a high concentration of dissolved metals. It is an astonishing place to look at and really is quite magnificent. In our number 5 spot today we have the Devil's Kettle. This area is said to hold one of Minnesota's greatest mysteries. As the Brule River flows through in order to make its way toward Lake Superior, there is a point where it makes an 800 foot drop in 8 miles. Because of this journey through time, waterfalls have been created as the water erodes the rocky terrain. One waterfall in particular is the one that we want to talk about today. The stream splits into two as it falls over the edge. One of the two streams flows exactly how you would think it does, while the other is a little more mysterious. On this side, the water rushes into a cavern that seems to go nowhere. The cavern never fills up somehow, but no one can figure out where the water is going. It's a strange phenomenon that has resulted in the fall gaining the nickname the Devil's Kettle. It is said that people have tried to place things in the water that might help show them where the water is flowing to, but despite these efforts, the items were just never seen again. In our number 4 spot today we have the Pyramids of Giza. One of the most mysterious places on earth has to be the Pyramids of Giza. I mean, how? For centuries people have wondered and tried to find answers as to how they were built at all, let alone with limited resources and without the use of modern technology. And they've been around for the last 4,000 years, so the durability alone is outstanding. This alone is the source of much mystery, but that's only the outside of them. What lies on the inside might just be even more so. The Pyramids of Giza, especially the Great Pyramid of Giza, were believed to have been built as tombs for rulers and other wealthy people. That totally makes sense, except for the fact that there hasn't been any mummies found inside of them. Instead, there is just a plethora of secret, unexplored rooms, hidden doors and mirrors, you know, just regular ancient Egypt stuff. Many of these secret rooms remain completely unexplored over fear of damage. One more strange thing about these incredible creations, before we move on though, they were built on the center of the earth. However they did this, they aligned them perfectly with Orion's belt, with no technology, just pure brilliance. I'm just saying, if any where is going to take you to a parallel universe, these pyramids will take you back in time to a completely different world. In our number 3 spot today we have the Crooked Forest. Forests are already creepy. This one looks like it's straight out of a Tim Burton film. The Crooked Forest in Poland. There's around 400 odd shaped pine trees near the town Grafino. These trees are about 90 years old and all of them from the base they immediately bend towards the north and then slowly curve back towards the sky like the other trees. Despite the odd bend, these trees are otherwise healthy. There's been so many theories, but none of them really stick. Some suggest it was a gravitational anomaly, but that's a little too far-fetched for me. I don't know. This is an interstellar, right? Other theories claim that there were heavy snowfalls that would weigh down the branches, which could check out, but why is it just a select amount? I've also lived in Canada my entire life. We have lots of snow, and I've never seen a sleepy hollow tree before. My favorite theory is that farmers were trying to make the tree curved on purpose to make stronger wheels, because the grain direction would make for naturally curved wheels. Again though, nobody knows for sure. What are your thoughts? Do we like the wheel theory? I'm just gonna keep a spare tree tire just in case. Keep it stored safely in the trunk. 
Okay, jokes. I'm funny. In our number two spot today, we have the Catatumbo River. Basically, in western Venezuela, right over the Catatumbo River, there are these insane, intense lightning storms, and it's a complete atmospheric phenomenon. This lightning occurs 140 to 160 nights a year, 9 hours per day, and from 16 to 40 times per minute. That is absolutely insane. That is so much lightning. Another thing that's so fascinating about this lightning is that it is colorful, and it doesn't produce any thunder. The lightning does change its frequency up from time to time, and at one point it stopped for a few weeks and people thought that maybe it was going to have been exhausted forever, but that changed when the lightning came back, putting it right back on our list of mysteries that we just can't quite figure out. Many people have studied the lightning, trying to figure out how exactly it has been created, and what makes this phenomena what it is, but we just aren't quite sure yet. And finally, in our number one spot today, we have the reverse waterfall. This mysterious and strange location is another one that comes from India. Here there is a waterfall, but it's got a catch. While we all of course expect to see water cascading down, when we think of a waterfall, this strange location instead sees the water moving towards the sky. Some people believe it's because of some anti-gravitational force, others think it's due to the heavy air pressure, and I'm not a scientist, so I'll let you decide. While this is certainly quite a strange place, it also definitely delivers when it comes to beauty. I think even if the water flowed down like a normal waterfall, this area would still see a lot of tourists just because of the immense natural beauty. Starting off this countdown, we have the wrong turn. So this is a real story reported by four university students. Their names were never disclosed to protect their identity. But apparently in May of 1972, they were on their way back from a Utah rodeo and headed to their dorm. On their way back, they decided to take a shortcut. But that was their first mistake. While traveling along this unknown road, the path suddenly turned into gravel, and then all of a sudden they hit a dead end. So they had to travel all the way back down the road that they just came. However, while doing so, they noticed that the path had changed. It didn't look like the same original path that they originally took. All of a sudden, they saw something glowing in the distance. They drove towards it and found themselves at a weird building with a neon sign. The neon sign was in a language that none of them recognized. When they pulled towards the building for help, these weird tall men came out towards them. They seemed confused and angry. One got close to the car and one of the girls screamed. Tall man didn't appear to be human, so they sped out of there. While driving away, they saw weird egg-shaped vehicles following them. They sped until the vehicles stopped following them. Finally, they somehow reached the road that they were originally on. To this day, they believe that they somehow traveled to another universe through that road. Isn't that creepy? Hit that thumbs up button if you agree. In our ninth spot, we have the lift ride at the disappearing store. Just recently, Reddit user NoBookkeeper3991 decided to take a lift to go to the dollar store. It wasn't too far from his place, and it wasn't complicated to get to. A couple minutes go by and he should have reached the store by now, but they couldn't find it. The store just randomly wasn't there anymore. In fact, the whole street looked different. Both the dude and the lift driver started to panic. Everything changed in front of them in a flash. It was super weird. So yeah, the guy didn't end up going to the dollar store that day. Apparently, they rode into a parallel universe or something. And of course, days later, the missing dollar store magically reappeared again. Moving on at number eight, we have the disappearing professor. A well-known faculty member at the University of the Andes disappeared on campus without a trace. According to multiple witnesses, they saw the professor leave one of the university's buildings cross the parking lot and get into his car. Many people saw this happen. In fact, people were calling at him and waving to him as he got into his car. But his car sat there unmoving for a while. A couple of students actually approached the car to see what was going on and found the car empty. The professor was nowhere to be found. To this day, the professor has never returned. It's assumed that when he got into his car, he was transported to a different universe. Moving on at number seven, we have the Green Children of Woolpit. Back in the 13th century, two weird children randomly appeared in the village of Woolpit in England. The two were brother and sister and had weird greenish colored skin. To make things weirder, they spoke a language no one heard of, and they were dressed in weird clothing. They also didn't want to eat anything except raw beans. 
Eventually, they were taken in, but sadly, the boy became sick and passed away. The girl, on the other hand, started to like normal food and started to lose the green color in her skin. After learning to speak English, she said that her and her brother were from a place where people had green skin and the sun didn't shine bright. They were herding their dad's cattle when all of a sudden they heard a loud noise. Bam! They were in a new place. Now the girl ended up growing up and marrying a man and starting a whole new life there. But it seems like the two traveled there from another dimension. Coming in at number six, we have the campsite. A couple of years ago, a woman and her friends were out camping when they heard music coming from the forest. They followed the sound thinking that they were alone and came across a small stone cabin. The weirdest part? When they approached the cabin, they saw people dressed in 17th century fashion. One of the friends was fascinated and went over to the cabin to try and go inside. As she was about to enter, one of her friends pulled her away. As that happened, half of her body became paralyzed, the half that entered the cabin. It's believed that she partially entered another dimension and that threw off her nervous system, which resulted in half of her body becoming paralyzed. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the deaths. This story is pretty intense, so buckle your seatbelts. But basically, one night, this woman had a dream about someone she knew dying. Three days later, that dream came true and the person passed away. This has happened to her a number of times. She falls asleep, has a dream that someone dies, and in exactly three days, that dream comes true and that person passes away. I mean, that sounds like a horror movie plot, like if you agree. Anyways, this has happened to two of her colleagues, three of her grandparents, her great grandfather, her friend's grandfather, two school teachers, three of her friends, and a random lady she met for five minutes one day at work. So maybe don't become friends with her because then she'll have a dream about you and then you'll die. I'm just kidding. But some people believe that she's actually hopping from different universes. In one universe, the person has already passed away. When she jumps back to her current universe, the person isn't dead yet. And that's what triggers these dreams. They're just memories from other universes that she has traveled to. In our fourth spot, we have the different family home. Back in the day, a woman named Carol Chase McKelleny decided to visit her old family town and area. But when she was driving down her old street, she couldn't find the old house that she grew up in. In fact, all the houses on the street look completely different. She then decided to drive to the street where her grandmother used to live on. But when she got there, she found that the street was completely different as well. She then was driving through the town noticing that almost everything was changed. Like the cemetery where her parents were buried wasn't there anymore. Or a strip of restaurants and hotels was now just a graffiti covered area. She started feeling very uncomfortable and drove off. A few years later, Carol's father died and they went back to the cemetery to bury him with his parents. Surprisingly, the cemetery magically reappeared and everything about the town was back to normal. So she believes that during her other trip, she managed to visit her old town from a different dimension. In our third spot, we have the birth certificate. Just recently, Reddit user Professional Echo 348 went to get a new birth certificate. They were at town hall when they saw that their mother's middle name was not right. It was written as Victoria, but her real middle name was Virginia. So she asked the clerk what was up with it. Even her last birth certificate had her mom's middle name as Virginia. Sadly, her mom passed away 17 years ago, so she couldn't just phone up her mom and ask her what was up. Plus, she even named her daughter's middle name after her mom's middle name. So she decided to dig into this some more. She was going through old files when she saw that her mother was once married to a man named Pierce which again was wrong. His name was actually Pierre, not Pierce. So sometime in her life, she switched universes. One where her mother's middle name was Victoria and her stepfather's name was Pierce. Coming in at number two, we have the different girlfriend. One day, a guy woke up only to find that he had been sleeping next to some random girl. He freaked out and the girl, whose name was Laura, was all like, WTF, we've been dating for a couple of years now. How don't you remember? Stop fooling around, this isn't funny. Sure enough, his apartment was filled with framed photos of them together. What's weird is that that wasn't his girlfriend. He was dating a girl named Maria, not Laura. So apparently he went to bed with Maria and woke up beside a new girlfriend, Laura. So somehow he managed to switch universes in his sleep. That is insane. And does that count as cheating? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> and in our number one spot, we have Lorena Garcia. Lorena Garcia lived a pretty mundane life 
until one day everything changed forever. Her life literally got flipped upside down. So she woke up one day and noticed her bed sheets were different than normal. She kind of just ignored it and went on with her day. But as she made her way to work, she noticed little things were off. Again, she ignored it as she arrived at work. But when she got to her department, she realized it wasn't her department. She thought that she was on the wrong floor, but she wasn't. She had worked there for the last 20 years. But today, she worked in a different department. She even looked herself up on her works database. She worked at the same company, but it said she worked at a different department. Then things continued to get weird. Her former boyfriend disappeared without a trace. There was no sign of him anywhere. There was not even a sign that the two had even dated. In fact, she hired someone to see what happened to him. Turns out, he never existed at least not in this universe, her current boyfriend was someone completely different. So somehow when Lorena went to bed, she managed to travel to another universe. Isn't that crazy? Like imagine waking up and having a completely new job and partner. I would freak out and probably go insane. Starting off this countdown, we have the parallel wedding. This story was posted on Reddit by the user Parallel Alt Girl who went to a wedding in a parallel universe. So back in the day, she attended her aunt's wedding. The wedding was big and the theme of the wedding was dark blue. So all the bridesmaids were wearing blue dresses and so was she. After the wedding, she took a little nap before the reception. But when she woke up, she was no longer in a blue dress. She was in a light orange one. So was everyone else. She didn't know how that was even possible. But even looking back at the wedding photos, she was photographed attending the wedding in an orange dress, along with all the other bridesmaids. So now she believes that she somehow woke up in another universe, one where everyone wore orange instead of blue to the wedding. In our ninth spot, we have the swapped selves. This story was posted on Reddit by the user someone else 777 She believes that she swapped places with her parallel universe self. So story goes that she was out for a hike one day with her boyfriend. They were nearing the end of the hike when her boyfriend decided to climb a big rock formation. But she was too tired, so she continued to walk down the path to meet him at the other end. However, while walking, she got a bad feeling, thinking that something bad happened to her boyfriend. Then all of a sudden she was someone else. She went from thinking, what if my boyfriend gets hurt? I should rescue him. To, I came here alone. Who am I rescuing? So in one universe, she was out hiking with her boyfriend. In the other, she was out hiking alone. When she switched places, she noticed that her other self was a bit different. She was a bit taller, fitter, and felt more confident. She was also carrying a tent and supplies for a solo journey. Her boyfriend was not with her. Like what? That would freak me out. Just all of a sudden like, and you're someone else? Mm. But like yourself, but then someone else? I don't know. Coming in at number eight, we have the castle. Posted on Reddit by the user John30859, he shared his experience visiting a parallel universe. But this one was actually quite magical. So, story goes that John and his cousin were outside on the porch when two teenagers approached them and asked them if they wanted to see a castle. I mean, that has stranger danger written all over it. But the two boys were young and naive, so they followed them along a path in the woods. A little while later, they saw a huge, beautiful castle in the distance. They got so excited that they ran home to show their parents. But when they arrived home, his mom got mad and told them to stay inside for the rest of the night. Here's the thing, he claims that his mom is very strict. She is always checking in on them when they are playing outside. So she would have noticed if they left. On top of that, in the area he lives in, there are no castles or churches or anything else that could have been mistaken for a castle. But the boys both vividly remember seeing the castle, even now at 25 years old. So what happened? Well, other people replied to his post offering him two explanations. One is that they were taken to fairy, basically a parallel dimension that can only be reached by doors and hills, under lakes and wells, through hedges, etc. The next is that the teenagers were actually aliens in disguise that brought them into another dimension. Either way, they somehow got transported into a world that has a giant castle. Moving on at number 7, we have the third floor. This next story was posted on Reddit by the user feifei775. Back in 2015, he went to the hospital to visit his dad who was a patient there. 
there. After spending some time with him, he left with his friend to go get some snacks. So they hopped on the elevator and went to the third floor where all the food was. But when the doors opened, they found that the whole area was completely deserted. The lights were flickering and the floor was trashed. Scared, they headed on back to the fifth floor where his dad's room was. Fast forward to a week later, they are back at the hospital. And turns out that his dad was, and had always been, on the third floor, which was now cleaned up and in use. So he's convinced that he somehow took an elevator to a different universe. Coming in at number 6 we have Jumping Universes. So this story was posted on Reddit a month ago, but the user that posted the story deleted their account. I wonder why. Maybe they ended up in a different universe. Alright, so this individual wrote that every time they wake up from a sleep, they believe that they are in a different universe. The differences in each universe are small, but still you know that something is not quite right. Some people will act differently from day to day, or a location of objects will move ever so slightly. So they believe that every day they end up in a different universe. And a lot of people commented on this post claiming that they too have had similar experiences, where they fall asleep and then wake up and they're in a different universe. My only question is, how many universes are out there? We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with The Accident. Posted by the user UM Awake, they shared a story about the time that they were involved in an accident in one universe, but not the other. So when she was younger, she was outside watching her uncle do wheelies on his four wheeler. Eventually she hopped on to have some fun, but sadly the four wheeler flipped. All she remembers is it getting very quiet and then waking up on the couch inside the house. She went outside to find her family helping helping her cousin and uncle get out from under the four wheeler. But she vividly remembers being the one on the vehicle that flipped. Coming in at number 4 we have The Breakfast Place. Posted on reddit by the user Texas KSMO, she shares a story about the time her and her husband visited a restaurant in a parallel universe. So to begin, the couple bought a little country house which they go to on the weekends. One weekend while traveling there they decided to stop and have breakfast at a restaurant they had never seen before. They entered and a man in a cowboy hat said, you can just sit yourself. I feel like that's what he sounded like if he had a cowboy hat on. So They ended up having a nice meal and wanted to return a couple weeks later. However, when they went back to try and find the same restaurant, it was gone. Instead, in place of the restaurant was an old boarded up abandoned building. The building looked the same, but was completely deserted. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder how food tastes though in another universe. Maybe it's better, maybe it's worse. Maybe they have new food that we don't have in this universe. Who knows? In our third spot, we have The Workday. This story was posted four years ago on Reddit, but sadly the account is now deleted, so I can't give them credit. So according to this post, it was September 11th, 2015, and the guy was headed to his job of five years. But when he got there, he said that something fell off. In fact, he saw employees that he had never even seen before. He ended up striking a conversation with one of them and mentioned how it was September 11th and how it was sad what happened on that day. But the employee had no clue what he was talking about. The guy explained it, but the employee was all like, what attacks? That never happened. Then on his way home, he was listening to the radio and it mentioned Howard Dean as president. Obviously, this freaked the guy out, so as soon as he got home, he decided to just lay down and relax. He ended up falling asleep, and when he woke up, he was back in his normal universe. Honestly, I think it would be super scary to get trapped in a universe that isn't yours. Like, you'd be telling stories and people would be like, what are you talking about, you little crazy person? Like, no one would believe you. You'd be by yourself. Sad. Coming in at number 2 we have The Assignment. 3 Acid Nirvana on reddit shared his experience about traveling to another universe, where something freaky happened to him at school. So in one of his courses his teacher gave the class a massive research assignment. For the assignment they had to use resources from a list the teacher supplied them with. So he ended up using this one book in the library to help him write the paper. About a week before the paper was due he needed to go cite something from the book, but he already returned it to the library. So he went to the library and asked to get the book. Not only did the library not carry the book, but there was no such book ever written. Which is freaky because how could he write a whole paper on a topic that he didn't know without any sources? So he must have traveled to a different universe, one where that book doesn't exist. And in our number one spot we have Denny's. Ever wonder what food is like in an alternate universe? 
Well, they still got Denny's, I can tell you that. But it goes by another name there, Pennies. Yep. Reddit user is underscore emo posted a story about the time he ended up going to a place called Pennies, which was identical to Denny's. From the building to the food and the menu, everything was the same. Except it was called Pennies. He even asked his parents about it since he had been to that restaurant in that same location multiple times, but they said it has always been called Pennies. A couple weeks later, when passing by the restaurant, he noticed the sign turned back to Denny's. He asked his parents again, and they said they have never even heard about Pennies. What's going on? Like, that would drive me insane. Does this happen to other restaurants too in other dimensions? Like, is Chick fil A called Flick Chile? Thought provoking question.